you hear me, and welcome to this special edition of Art on the Road. It is the third and final day of Astronomicon. We've got some kids moving around in the path behind me, if you see here, because what are we going to be doing next? We want to show you a little something beyond the world of pro wrestling, pro wrestling related merchandising that they have here, like these. Funko Soda Pop, just one of the interesting little items they've got, from Geralt to Star Wars to even Robocop down there. And there's more. You see, they also have the Sanderson sisters, yes, Hocus Pocus, and the Munsters as well. You see this one right here? Here he is in all of his splendor from the people over at NECA. There's also the nun of the Living Dead dolls. Also got a little Godzilla action going on over here. Are you in the mood for a little Batman and a Batarang replica? There you go. They even do Funko Pops of Carrie and Hannibal Lecter. Say hello to Necron and Clayface while they're at it. It's not all, there is plenty, plenty more. It's nice enough to have a nice little ticker tape. Little feed for the march of what the prices are. Even have their own brands of coffee, you see right here. I wonder if they have them in the pods. One of those K-Cup pods. It turns out they don't. But they do have these right here for you to see. And they're bringing out the cute little Sam because he's always fun. Now behind me is a very eclectic vendor who has a lot of things fresh and things that are used. If I knew what one of these were, I would tell you, but unfortunately, I do not. And Pokemon cards are still alive and well. Here we are with Eerie Magazine, one of the great horror magazine anthologies from the 1970s. Yes, alongside Creepy, these are the ones that brought horror comics back in that decade of disco. Do you remember this VHS? Well, 15, that sounds like a good price for VHS. We have a Pikachu party available. This one's a bit more though, 30. All right, if Ralph and whip the Undertaker's ass, give me a hell yeah, hell yeah. Witness the incredible true story of Austin versus McMahon. You can find your tell and find your own story of Godzilla smashing up a city. Who knew they made these? This is very fun. Source Rex Fossil right here for you to see. And this is a little new uh, 2014 Warner Brothers Godzilla for you to smash up. There is this Ghostbusters toy, uh, 50 bucks. It comes with a little whirly bird foam rubber. Yes, that is Michael Myers walking by, and he has the music playing the song in stereo. There's also uh, the ghost trap right here. Remember, don't look into the trap. I wonder if my father would be into this. He played high school football, so maybe a little hot. It's a little battered, but I could use this for myself. I feel like tarot cards, here you are. I once played a game of poker with tarot cards, everybody died. A commando clown right here. He is clowny. Rest in peace. High five. Too cool. They even have the arm tattoos. Diamond Dallas Page. I was a little dog-faced gremlin, man who came from a highly educated university known as Rick Steiner. They've even got Seamus. And whoever this guy is supposed to be. That's what those little wrestling toys cost, uh, just to see. They're $4 each, and they're 3 for 10 which is a good uh, deal for the bigger ones, like the Diamond Dallas Page one. That would be fun to have. And the other, the smaller ones, though, it's a matter of scale, and that one with the uh, DDP. If I was going to get the DDP, then yes. But the other ones, uh, I'm not sure. You always find a curious gentleman or a lady around here at these shows, for sure. This vendor now has a good guy. Oh, yes. Uh, although, don't let him near your children. Now, this area gets a little more crowded behind me. But remember what we're going to look for here. If you love VHS, there's only one place to stop in this convention. I feel like having a little old-fashioned family Christmas fun. They do have this. Although I prefer mine to be a tad more salacious, like this right here. If you enjoy some uh, Lovecraftian fun, 
and the Mouth of Madness is here. There's also this comedy classic as well. I remember having this, and this poster actually really, really scared me. Watching the movie, it's a lot more funny than scary. This is one I had and watched almost as much as the original, Predator 2, right here. Now, here's something I wish that actually did wind up getting made as a movie, if only for this amazing J. Scott Campbell wraparound cover like this. There's also this one that was really successful at its time, but hasn't become, has maintained super big relevancy since then, which I think is a bad thing. This one, of course, to remember, deepest, bluest, LL Cool J's hat is like a shark's fin. One of Canon's ninja classics right here. And it's in the clamshell. It's also a place for families to go to, like you just saw. Some family fun can always be represented right here. Remember, you will fly to Fatos, find the Power Rangers, and you will tear them apart. You can get the Evil Earth 2 Superman right here. 15. Looks like the Frank Quietly design. Or there's Jon Stewart right there. The cool Jon Stewart, the one with the ring. I can generate X-Pac heat. I could disappoint everyone at Starcade 97. And I found a junkyard dog. I believe this is Thumb Toy, Thumb Wars, the WWF Thumb Wrestlers. You can just bring it. Gilbert got smacked around so badly that his uh, torso is on backwards. The rock that was so bad that people booed him out of the ring. Just enjoy going to Camp Crystal Lake. There is the beginning of the line for the media guests, but Kevin Smith was supposed to be here yesterday, supposed to be here Saturday, but did not show up because of the winter weather advisory. And well, he didn't show up when I got into a car accident on Friday night. So yeah, I guess we both had some problems, but yeah, I got stuck on I-96, not him. And well, we can always find something else. I wonder what it would be like if you actually did see Jason play for the Detroit Tigers. What position would he play? Would he be a shortstop or a catcher? Would he be in the outfield? Would he be a baseman? Why don't you uh, say aloud or wonder aloud in comments, whatever, what it is you think his position would be. And that is just uh, the bit of all the rest of what you can see here at Astronomicon this year. I want to thank everyone for watching. Subscribe if you are new. Check that you're still subscribed if you're a returning viewer. And become a channel member with the first link below in the description. And with the second link below in the description, you can go and uh, shop in my Square store, where my pen and ink art is 25, my color art is 30, my sketchbooks are 25, my trading cards are 10, and my posters are 200. You can also go and uh, get yourself a color piece commission for 60, a pen and ink piece for 50, or a trading card for 20. And whatever you buy just comes with a flat $5 shipping and handling fee. You can also go and remember to donate any dollar amount you'd like in my store. Donations are uh, any dollar amount from any denomination around the world are accepted. So remember that. And if you want to live, if you live outside of America and you want to buy or commission me, my store uh, cannot receive orders from foreign addresses. So you'd have to go and make your purchase via a donation. Add up what you want in US dollars, including up to 25 US for the international shipping handling fee. Your items will ship immediately. So until then, I thank you all for watching. And remember, felines, slime it, lick it, suck it, and see you, Space Cowboy.